Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Mommy Oswald. Hopefully you can hear me better because I'm using this very old technique. Today I'm going to be talking about my 10 Netflix favorites. Basically the videos that have been keeping me entertained. These are the movies slash shows because some of them are shows and some of them are movies. 100% of them are not movies and 100% of them are not shows. So let's go ahead and get started. Friends is off of Netflix. So Friends could not be on this list. I'm so sorry if you thought Friends was still on Netflix. It's not. I have been watching Friends since I was pregnant with CJ and on New Year's they said that they were gonna um, take it off. And I actually was watching Friends when I found out on New Year's. I cried and I'm not a crier, but I cried. My number one is gonna be Naruto. Naruto has been one of my favorite animes. I have to put it right behind Sailor Moon, but Sailor Moon is not on Netflix. And this video is about what you can find on Netflix. So I'm gonna start by saying Naruto. And anyway, for anybody there who's team Sakura Sasuke, it's me, I'm here. So, number two, the Avatar. I love the Avatar, I honestly love how they put a lot of effort into making the movements, like of the Kung Fu, you would say. They like to have the movements add up to what's actually happening as far as the bending. Cause I don't know if you guys seen um, the Airbender, the movie, which I believe is also on Netflix, but I don't recommend like you watching the movie with the real real live people i wouldn't watch that i i hated it i felt like they did a bunch of like this and then like one thing would happen like it's just a bunch of like oh duh 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 and then it's like that's all it did it just did one little thing number three is going to be the 70s show now i love the 70s show because the 70s show has a life that I never lived like when I was in high school I didn't have that many friends when I was in high school I did not try to drink I smoked cigarettes and I didn't even know that when they were in their basement they were smoking I don't know if I can say what they were smoking but I didn't know that they were smoking that like I think someone randomly told me like I think it was my boyfriend he was like what do you think they're doing in that circle and I said I thought they were just talking number four on my list is gonna be the office the office so anyway we're too sorry about downplaying the office the office is actually a really good show i like it um at first i couldn't connect to it so if you have never heard of the office you've been living under a rock or something and you've just never heard of it never watched it can't connect to it just give it a chance um just give it a chance watch a couple episodes if it's funny i like it because it's a bunch of grown-ups at work who basically hate their job but are making fun of the job and i always love shows where there's adults involved and they still like to have fun they're not just like boring adults i, I have hoarders now hoarders is just something that i put on when i am in a crappy mood and i don't feel like cleaning and i need something to motivate me i definitely put on hoarders because i'm not trying to be like that i'm not trying to lose my cat under a bunch of stuff i seen one episode this lady had like cats and she lost cats and I'm happy that they have opportunities for them people to get help and um, get help cleaning because I don't even know help cleaning. Like, will my room be looking like that? I don't even know. Help put the hoarders on. Get some coffee. Clean. Okay? All right. All right. Anyway. Anyway, so number six, I have Pawn Stars. So anyway, the reason I have Pawn Stars is because, honestly, it's solely for information like I like when they come in with old stuff and they swear it's real and they'd be like I want two thousand dollars and then they bring in someone to tell them it's fake anyway um number seven is going to be despicable me now that's a movie it's not a show it's really funny I enjoy movies that have it to where the adult can watch it and the child can watch it and it's nothing inappropriate there's no curse words but they still kind of throw in jokes in there that like adults get you know what I'm saying like when the guy was hanging, I think this was like the second movie. But anyway, when the dad, I don't even know, I don't even know his name. But when the dude was like trying to get this jewel or whatever and it was hanging and he kind of was like wearing a thong basically and then he was passing by a whole entire office. Like that was, that to me was just hilarious. So in my number eight, I have The Grinch. Now I know what you're gonna say. The Grinch you would think is like a one time of the year. But it's really not. I've watched it like all year round. I still watch it all year round, even in the summer right now. 
I'm still watching it all year round. It puts me in this great mood. That's another thing that you can watch with your um, family, but it's very funny. And it just puts me in this Christmas mood, like it's June. But when I watch The Grinch, I just wanna make some hot chocolate or some s'mores and just put a Christmas tree up and just relax. So at number nine, honestly, is gonna be Murder Mystery. I've probably seen this movie only twice, but the main reason I like it is because um, Jennifer Aniston is in it. And what's the guy? What's, oh, let me get the guy's name. Hold on. Adam Sand. Uh, Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Jennifer Aniston. Luke Evans. Like all these other people, I don't even care about. I only watched this movie a couple times. I honestly only watched it because of Jennifer Aniston. She's my favorite actress. I just, I love her. I love her. I love her. So if you don't think this will be something that you want to watch, like you don't like Jennifer Aniston, I don't know what's wrong with you, and you don't like um, Adam Sandler, then try to find a movie that has your top two favorite actors in it and then see if that's on Netflix. I'm pretty sure it will be. Um, so moving on to my number 10, my last one is going to be Bounty Hunter. So it's not like I saved the best for last. Honestly, I gave you guys my best first. So that's how I did that. Bounty Hunter is also a good movie that has Jennifer Aniston in it. She's my favorite actress. But anyway, um, it has that cute Irish guy. I don't know if he's Irish, let me see. Gerard Butler. He played in this movie that I just like, oh my God. Like, I fell in love with him in that movie. What was it? Let's figure this out. Olympus Has Fallen, 2013. Angel Has Fallen. London has fallen. Why is everything falling with this guy? Everything. P.S. I love you. P.S. I love you. That was the that was the movie. It was like I might be interested in, in Irish men. Or I'm I don't know. Oh my god. But I'm not any. I know I'm not. But honey, he's he's still fine. And anyway, anyway, moving on. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. That was my top favorite Netflix shows slash movies. If you guys are bored and don't know what to do with yourself, how about you guys go check them out? Like I said, my top one was Friends. But Friends is not on anymore, so Friends could not be on my list. Thank you so much for watching this far. If you guys liked this video, go ahead and subscribe. Like this video, comment, my, um, comment your favorite Netflix shows or movies that I can watch so I can go ahead and stop watching all this stuff because I'm, I'm telling you, I'm just watching Naruto and watching Avatar, like, all over again. So guys, yeah, go ahead and let me know in the comment section what's your favorite ones. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that bell button if the bell button has not been hit. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, if you have anything that you guys want me to cover or do a video on or whatever, go ahead and put that in the comment section too, and I'll go ahead and check that out. Basically, anything you guys put, as long as it, like, makes sense, I'll do it. Love you guys. Have a good day. See you guys later. Bye.